Now we are going to talk about two irregular verbs. We are going to talk about gustar and ir. We have already, already talked about one irregular verb in the form of ser, which means to be. And when we say that a verb is irregular, what we mean is that it simply doesn't follow some type of pattern. When we say a verb is regular, we mean it follows a regular pattern. When we say it's irregular in yo, we mean it follows an irregular yo pattern. And when we say it is a stem changing verb, it follows a stem changing pattern. So when we say that a verb is irregular, what we mean is that it simply has no pattern by which we can learn it. So two irregular verbs that are used very often in Spanish are the verb gustar and ir, and we will look at each in turn. Gustar is how we might say we like to do something. For example, in English, we might say all the time, I like to go to the movies, or I like those books, or my sister likes a certain person, she likes Thomas, or she likes John. But in Spanish, right, we would say the same thing, but we would just use gustar. Now, the only difficulty is that in Spanish, in order to express like, gustar only really has two forms. It has gusta and gustan. So if I wanted to say, I like something, I wouldn't say yo gusto, which is how we might think it's meant to be said. Instead, right, we would say me in the form of yo, and then we would either use gusta or gustan based on what is going to come after, based on whether the object that we are talking about is singular or plural, or whether the activity that we're talking about is an infinitive. So each of these pronouns has an association with another pronoun. So we would use me if we are talking about ourself, or the yo form, te if we are talking about the tu form, le if we are talking about the el, ella, usted form, nos if we are talking about the nosotros form, os if we talk about the vosotros form, and les if we are talking about ellos, ellas, or ustedes. Let me give you an example. Let's say that I wanted to say, I like Pedro Almodovar's movies. I would want to say, I like his películas. But películas is a plural. So, and I'm talking about myself. So I would need to use the plural form of gustar and talk about myself, which is me. So I would say, me gustan las películas de al Moldovar. If I wanted to talk about a singular object, let's say I wanted to say that Carmen really likes Spanish food, then I would need to use the singular form of gustar and then the pronoun that I would associate with Carmen, which is le, right? So I would need to say a Carmen le gusta la comida española. And that's how I would say Carmen likes Spanish food. If I wanted to say that I like to do a certain activity, that would be considered an infinitive. So if I wanted to say that, I would need to say we, right, the form that is we, and then gusta, which is the infinitive form, right? Nos gusta mirar la tele. We like to watch television. There's another form of infinitive that we would use to suggest immediate action. And that verb is ir. Oftentimes, with the verb ir, we use a helping word, which is a. So we don't just say to go, we say to go to. Now, the conjugation of ir is irregular because it doesn't follow any type of pattern. So the conjugation is, yo voy, tú vas, él, ella, usted, va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, ellos, ellas, ustedes, van. And it's how I would express immediate future actions. So actions that I haven't done yet, but that I'm going to be doing in the immediate future. Let's say I wanted to say, I'm going to go to the store. I would use ir. Voy a la tienda. If I wanted to say, you are going to the park, I would say, vas al parque. If I wanted to say, Teresa is going to study, I would say, Teresa va a estudiar. 
if I wanted to say we are going to watch a movie, I would say vamos a ver una película. And if I wanted to say Tomás and Javier are going to play soccer, I would say Tomás y Javier van a jugar fútbol. All of these actions are in the immediate future, meaning they haven't been done yet, but they will be done very soon. And notice that I've used the helping word a with each one because I wouldn't just say to go, I would say to go to in Spanish. For any more information on either of these verbs, please look in your book for gustar or for ir.